This dog is learning a new trick, how to use an iPad. Anna Jane Grossman gives iPad lessons to dogs at her school for the dogs in Manhattan. Grossman teaches dogs good behavior and all kinds of practical skills. She got the idea for this from a spoof article she read online. That got me thinking like, oh, you know, you could totally teach a dog to use an iPad. The idea is to get dogs to eventually perform simple tasks with a device, or at least entertain their owners. Are you a Republican? No. Are you a Democrat? Yes. Grossman's dog, Amos, can even seemingly tell the difference between an iPad, an iPod, and a cell phone. An iPad lesson starts with getting the dog to touch something on cue, like its owner's hand or a fly swatter. Touches are rewarded with treats, and licks count too. Then the dogs learn to push something, like a paper towel roll. This is to make sure their touches are strong enough to register on the iPad. Next, the dogs graduate to an iPad. That was your very first iPad touch! Yeah. <laughs> You'll be swiping in no time. Philip Angert's dog, Sasha, already has his own iPad. Angert created an app for dogs that rewards good behavior. He is also an amateur pilot. He hopes Sasha, who flies with him, will eventually be able to perform basic tasks on the iPad while in flight. What if he could put his nose on a little screen in the back seat and pull up the weather for me when I'm about to land? I mean, that's basic stuff that I'm already doing with my finger pushing on a button. Why can't Sasha do it? Vicki Winslow, another of Grossman's clients, wants to give her seeing eye dog, Jet, something new and interesting to do. You ask your question. She would like for Jet to be able to answer simple yes or no questions using the iPad, like, are you hungry or do you have to go out? We live near the 2nd Avenue subway construction and a, a guide dog has to be just awesome to do New York City every day, uh, let alone constant construction sites. So this is fun. This is her version of kicking back after work. There aren't a lot of apps out there right now for dogs, but Grossman sees great potential for the future. I think eventually, you know, if we start training now that in a couple of years these apps will exist that might allow our dogs to actually do useful things for us, you know, be it turn on the dryer when you're out <laughs> or, or call mom. You did great! For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Jennifer Weiss.